Bitcoin.com under trading newsletters. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The Trader's Edge with Steve Rhodes. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The Trader's Edge. Now, Steve Rhodes. Good uh, morning or good afternoon, depending on which uh, version of the show you're listening to. This is Steve Rhodes coming to you live. It's uh, 8.06 in the uh, morning. Uh, thanks so much for joining me. If you're listening to the archive show, we'll make today's show as uh, pertinent as we can to the uh, 1 to 2 o'clock hour. Of course, if you are listening, I'd love to hear from you. You can do that a couple different ways. You can give us a call at 877-927-6648. If you can't dial in, well, we've got you covered there. Now, look, if you're listening between 1 and 2, don't send me an email. Uh, not doing in the show and uh, but if you are listening live right now uh, you can send me an email steve at tfn.com heck you can send me an email between one and two that's okay i just won't be able to answer it uh, on the uh, show uh, a steve at tfn.com and if you could put uh, radio show question in the subject heading that would be great of course in our tiger's den uh, any ping uh, will do private uh, public it doesn't matter out there so let's go ahead and get this show started on hey friday the 13th out there that is, for some people, they think that's an unlucky day. For me, it just reminds me of a, a good friend of mine. Uh, he's, uh, he passed away uh, years ago. But, uh, in fact, he was one of the key guys that, uh, uh, that uh, really gave me an opening into the Las Vegas marketplace. Uh, years ago, back in the 90s, uh, I had a business where... A uh, photography business. It was where we put uh, your face on somebody else's body, turn those into magazine covers, movie posters, uh, things along those lines. Uh, you probably, if you've traveled to tourist areas around the uh, world, because we had stores all over the uh, place. Um, uh, but uh, Vegas was the uh, was was really a, an area uh, to break into back in the 90s because they were changing, they were trying to change their environment uh, into uh, into competing with the Orlando area, really uh, the theme park. Uh, and they tried building a theme parks, a couple theme parks out there. But uh, Mel Larson is the uh, guy that uh, he was uh, in charge of marketing for Circus Circus. In fact, uh, he's really one of the kingpins out there that helped develop Las Vegas as they went through a transition in the 90s, <clears throat> the 90s into the early 2000s, where it was all themed. Right. So he went from Circus Circus, developed Circus Circus properties out there. Uh, then they came up with the Excalibur Hotel and then the Luxor and then the Monte Carlo and, you know, the, the whole thing. But uh, Mel, uh, if, if you knew Mel, he's a great, great guy, but his lucky number was 13. His phone number had 13. He died on November 2nd. Um, 11 plus 2 was 13. I mean, that's kind of amazing there. Uh, and he loved pink. And everybody in Las Vegas uh, knew Mel. Uh, really great guy. Really befriended me. Um, he was a bit. He was a big race car driver. So he he raced cars on uh, Daytona Beach. Uh, he was great friends with uh, Carol Shelby. I had dinner with with both those guys and lunch uh, several times as they were bringing the Las Vegas uh, Speedway. Uh, and Carol and, and Mel played a big uh, role in that. And uh, but so on on Friday the 13th, this would be a day that he would be celebrating. I'll celebrate it for him. I don't think. In fact, if you go to the uh, uh, Circus Circus Hotel, I'm not necessarily recommending that you stay there. It's, uh, but but in any event, it's one of the few hotels, if not. It, if not maybe one of the only, but it's one of the few hotels that has a floor number 13. And that's how much control he had. You go to you know Vegas specifically, right? You go to Vegas out there, and uh, what? Uh, and you start and you look at the elevators, right? Because it's all about good luck. You cannot, you you do not want to put the thought of bad luck uh, into a player's mind out there. But Mel was like, we're not going to have any of that. 13 is a lucky number. And we're going to have, by God, we're going to have a 13th floor out there. And I know that it wasn't the Circus Circus. I don't recall if they kept the 13th floor. I imagine they would have in the Excalibur. And, now, they may have changed things, you know, since Mel has uh, passed away. But uh, in any event out there, look, let's get to the markets. That's really what you wanted us to take a look at. So let's do that right now as of 810 in the morning. 
We've got uh, all the equity futures are pointed higher. Boy, it was pretty uh, interesting at 8 o'clock. There must have been released by China or something like that. But we had futures flying all over the place out there. But they're not flying right now. They're pretty steady. You've got Dow equity futures up 76 points. The ES mini is up about 7. The NASDAQ 24. The uh, Russell is up about 5 points out there. Uh, big moves overnight across uh, Asia. Uh, about 2% moves. Uh, 1 and 3 quarters percent in the uh, Shanghai. Uh, 2 and a half percent in the Hang Seng, the Nikkei two and a half percent out there, uh, the S&P in uh, 200 in Australia, up a half a percent. Uh, the DAX right now is up eight tenths. The FTSE celebrating the uh, victory of Boris Johnson out there, a uh, huge landslide. I was reading something this morning said that the uh, this is the largest conservative uh, party win since the, the days of uh, Margaret Thatcher. And uh, so a uh, big, huge uh, kibosh on the uh, and the Labor Party, the Socialist Party, out there. So uh, now we'll see if they actually bring uh, Brexit. They should now be able to bring uh, Brexit to a uh, end out there. So a little bit of celebration uh, going on. Gold is up three bucks. Uh, silver seven pennies. Lights be crude up fifty six cents right now. Uh, future uh, T bond futures are up slightly, but in essence relatively uh, flat out there. So let's go take a look at the uh, market. See what they're doing right now. Just really in the short term out here. The short term uh, there were some there are some uh, topping signals out here the roads momentum indicator top now as we take a look at the 30 minute es mini we're going to see that right here now this pattern is not going to identify the exact top in the well it's going to it's going to identify it. it's just not going to if you trade it the way that i would trade it the way that i do trade it um you're just not going to be selling the top tick or buying the bottom tick because what we do as part of this pattern is we wait for a bullish or bearish reversal candle and that's exactly what took place at 6 30 this morning you got that nice little bear uh, bearish uh, reversal candle it was a bearish engulfing the three river evening star a bear separating line the whole kit and caboodle and then what we saw here at 730 was we saw a price close below the bottom of its profile that's a level of support you and I it doesn't matter what time frame it is that we look at that in this case here it's a 30 minute it's got the patterns that you and I like to uh, uh, use to identify tops and bottoms out there and uh, then what we do is we uh, look for support support or resistance here support was uh, well there's three levels of support on this screen you would be take a look at or resistance stevie's uh, green line or red line the oscillator unchanged line price was already below that level when that roads momentum indicator topping pattern was in play out there and then the second level or there were really three levels your TAS market profile so the bottom of the box really being the support level that was 387175 out there there was a close below that that close below that suggested a move back to its breakout area around 3157 out here whether price gets all the way down there or not I don't know it's just important to understand that that is the real key breakout level 3157 out there um, so that's why the the markets were already signaling a bit of a sell-off that took place at 630 that was before the eight o'clock news that we saw the spike to the uh, downside out there uh, whether that's going to last or not I don't know but what's really important here is as we shift really from the 30 minute time frame chart what I'll do is I'll just simply pull up the daily time frame chart uh, here on the daily time frame chart, you're also going to see that price is moving higher, doing it with less relative energy. You'll see the A to B equals CD pattern out here. Um, the uh, So the road momentum indicator signal is present on the daily time frame. Would you go ahead and sell here? And the answer is absolutely not. We just answered that question. We looked at the 30-minute time frame chart. We said we're never going to sell the exact top tick or buy the exact bottom tick. We're going to look for those patterns that identify tops and bottoms and wait for the market to communicate its message to us. And today, that would be a bearish reversal candle in the ES Mini. Without that, price wants to continue to move higher. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you're not currently using the TAS Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The TAS Profile Scanner is a standalone piece of software that instantly filters over 2,500 global financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. 
Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in today's technological world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, the best way to use the Taz profile scanner to profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today and you'll find the TAS Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay Area. Whether you're looking to sell your current property for maximum value or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate L. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Many of our new listeners have heard about The Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive The Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on The Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, uh, folks. Hey, the show here, uh, it's 8, 18 in the morning, recording this uh, early for the 118 in the afternoon uh, replay out uh, there. Uh, let's take a look at the uh, Great British Pound. Let's take a look at uh, where it may be uh, headed to right now. As we take a look at it, we can see that prices above its daily and its weekly uh, profile levels out there. A little bit of a short term, a little bit of a pullback on the 60 minute time frame chart. But let's go take a look at it, try to get a feel for where it is going. Let's look at the uh, intermediate term time frame out here. Let's look at the weekly time frame and, and here's what we know it's going to be interesting to see where the close is at day's end there is a resistance level that's at 1.336 out here and we're trading at 1.338 so just a few pips uh, above resistance now if you see a close above that resistance level and then a second close on a Sunday Monday out there then there's an A to B equal CD pattern that is underway uh, you got to be a bit careful out here now that A to B equal CD would take you up in the 138 141 area oh you don't see it uh, it's my apology uh, you'll see it here shortly um, so uh, now we take a look here's the chart so uh, you can see now the you're looking at the resistance levels are those green horizontal lines those green horizontal lines are established by the TD setup nine count uh, if you're not familiar with that that's where we would see an open or close in this case here uh, these counts are being set for, by price moving lower and we're looking for nine consecutive closes where each close is below the close of the bar four bars earlier out there if you'd like to learn that pattern sign up to mastery probability for at least 29 days because you got a 30-day money-back guarantee and you'll see a workshop uh, in the archive section that will teach you about this pattern so it's great because they help 
us identify uh, turning points in the market, or they can do that. In fact, the uh, euro or the Great British Pound, we can see utilize the uh, nine count out here to identify a bottom on August 17th. You saw a counter trend rally up into the resistance level, that 133.6 uh, area. You saw another bottom that formed out here on December 14th. And again, price moving up into that uh, resistance level. Now, if price can close over that resistance, uh, suggests on a weekly basis a further move higher, maybe even all the way back up to the highs out here on April the 20th. So that's what's going on. We take a look at the Great British Pound right now. Just recognize that it's up at a key resistance area, 1.336 out there. Let's go out and uh, speak with uh, Brent in Martinez, California, who is up very early. Brent, thanks so much for joining us uh, this early. What time do you go to bed? to get up at five, <laughs> with us at 5 uh, in the morning. usually around 9 o'clock, sometimes 10 o'clock. I just uh, don't I require it. as much sleep as I used to. Okay, yes, yes. Oh, that's good. That's good. I, I, hey, look, uh, for me, uh, my struggle is uh, I have always been a person I don't need an alarm clock, really, for the most part. I wake with the, I'm a sun person. I wake when the sun is rising, and man, when it's when it's setting out there, uh, by, I start to get uh, I start to get uh, dreary and droopy. So you better get me out <laughs> early overnight if you want me to uh, not fall asleep. But hey, seven thirty, eight o'clock in bed, no problem because I like to get up early as well. All right, the early bird catches the uh, worm, so to speak, out there. And speaking of worms, not that it's a worm out there, but S L C A. So uh, tell us what you're doing. This is Silica Holdings, and how I can help you. I'm long this. I got in not on the first low, but that secondary test of the low. Yes. So I'm in at about, oh, it's like mid fours is the, where I'm in at. And so I just want to get your thoughts on it and just making some progress here and what levels of, you know, potential resistance and such, you know, I might have to contend with. I'm just hoping you could look yeah. at that. Well, uh, you're, the, you're there now. You're basically there now. And by there now, uh, we're just, Brent, taking a look at the uh, daily and the weekly uh, time frame charts uh, with the TAS market profiles. And the level of resistance is uh, 576. Uh, I'm sorry, 584. 584 is the top of the daily profile. Yesterday's high was 583. <laughs> Funny how that works, right? Price gets up sees resistance and says, okay, I'm going to take a break here. Now, hopefully overnight it was Silica Holdings was recharging its batteries to take out that level of resistance. Uh, you've also got resistance at 6 bucks. So even if you cleared 584 $6 is the top of the weekly profile. So it's at its resistance areas out there. There's nothing to suggest that this is the time to sell other than this is at a resistance area, and you could see some type of retracement. When I say no types of patterns out here, uh, we can see a TD nine count bottom that formed back on November 23rd. We can see that uh, yesterday was bar number five. Uh, so we don't have any type of uh, nine count pattern that's confirmed at this stage here to the upside. Just simply that price is at uh, resistance. So uh, does that help you out? That does. Yeah, big time. That's that's what I was looking for. And I guess if I can, you know, if it can make that uh, make it to those levels, that would be you know a positive for me. And I'll just, yeah. Uh, yeah, I'm going to hang with it, and it's good to know where you're at with the counts and everything. It just gives me some idea where to where to be looking for, you know, again, some resistance and maybe some, you know, potential for the thing to slow down here. But it seems to be acting okay. I'll just keep an eye on it. Yeah, yeah. You know, so the average daily range on this uh, over the last 10 trading sessions has been about $0.32 cents out here. You're inside a bullish structured profile, uh, so any type of pullback, uh, should find support in the 512 to 476 area. Uh, for those folks that would like to get in on this, if you did see a pullback into that range, that would be uh, your buy entry point unless there was some type of major volume uh, coming to the uh, downside. So good support at 479, 476, but also great resistance at 584 to six bucks out there. So uh, Brent, thanks so much for uh, getting up early, calling in early. Is there anything else that as long as you're, you, you've got the early bird special, so that could be the BOGO, <laughs> buy one, get one for free. Is there anything else you need me to look at? I could have you take a look, I guess, at Baidu. I got into that the other day about 115. 
So just, yeah, I guess if you had a minute to take a look at that. Absolutely. Yeah, no, yeah, absolutely. Yeah, if you're taking the time to get up this early and call in. So in, in the case of Baidu, just doing the, the, the same kind of uh, review right now, just taking a look at its daily, its daily, weekly, and monthly time frame chart. You're inside the daily box. It got inside there yesterday. So that was a, a positive thing uh, for you. Prices above the weekly profile. Actually, the weekly profile is, is very bullish from the standpoint that it formed, its profile formed last week, and the profile was below price. And, and typically, the meaning there, that's a bullish. Bullish, that's a bullish indication. Now, the issue that Baidu has is clearing the resistance level established by the top of its monthly profile, and that's 121.24. Uh, price has already been up to 121.44, so it's tested it and it's rejected it just slightly out there. So your resistance is uh, in the uh, 121 to 124 area. 124 takes us over to the daily profile, and that's bearish in structure. And uh, so that's going to be your significant uh, resistance level out there. If I look at the other charts out here, my white background charts, see if there's any kind of signals. There's not anything that I have on a daily time frame. I'm looking at the weekly and the monthly on a different screen. I don't see anything there. So uh, resistance, Brent, 122, 124, uh, and on the uh, and those are the daily levels, and on the monthly, it's 121 and a quarter. All right, thank you so much, Steve. Just have a great day and enjoy your weekend. You bet. Take you care. do the same. You bet. That was Brent in Martinez, California. Right now, Dow Equity Futures up 76 points, S&P up 7, NASDAQ up 24 out there. I want to hear from you. And when we get back to this break, uh, well, we're going to go take a look at uh, something that Mark wants to look at. Mark wants to take a look at the IBB. So when we get back from this break, uh, we'll look at the IBB for Mark. Steve Rhodes from TFNN. We'll be right back. Since 1984, Basil Chapman has been using the Chapman Wave methodology to advise traders of his expert market opinion. While originally hand-drawing charts from the late 1970s into the 1980s, Basil noticed that prices under most circumstances virtually always had a certain number of legs to the upside before declining sharply. Later, Basil found that computer software, which included the standard market technical indicators, enhanced the degree of accuracy in calling price turns, as well as market trend calls. Thus was born the Chapman Wave sequence. Using the Chapman Wave methodology along with other indicators, Basil Chapman advises his subscribers of his expert market opinion each market day with his opening call newsletter. Right now, you can get a two-week free trial to the opening call, Basil's daily trading newsletter, by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Cancel at any time during that trial and pay absolutely nothing. Get your two-week free trial to Basil's newsletter, The Opening Call, today by visiting TFNN.com. The Path of Least Resistance is David White's daily trading newsletter, and if you're looking for active trading ideas, then now's a perfect time for a 30-day free trial to this powerful daily trading advisory service. David uses his years of trading experience to offer his subscribers his trading ideas each morning in his Path of Least Resistance newsletter. Using a combination of equity trades along with options, David keeps his subscribers up to date with all pertinent market information with intraday afternoon updates when warranted. Don't miss out on this great chance to get a 30-day free trial to David's daily newsletter, The Path of Least Resistance, with no obligation to pay anything. David has been delivering solid recommendations for his subscribers recently, and if you'd like to see the type of newsletter he delivers every morning, then visit the front page of TFNN, and you'll find The Path of Least Resistance under Trading Newsletters. For all the details, and to start your 30-day free trial today, log on to TFNN.com now. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed 
designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting tfnn.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, uh, folks. So thanks so much for joining us. We're actually doing the show here live this morning. It's 830 in the morning, trying to make this as pertinent as we can for the uh, afternoon show. If you are listening live right now, uh, all the equity futures are trading to the upside. The uh, spot volatility index is down 87 cents, trading down to 1307. It's uh, trying to move to lower price. But uh, let's first go take a look at the IBB. We had a request here from Mark S. And Mark says, uh, can you take a look at the IBB and XBI and tell me the prices that both of these indexes might be targeting well you're really right there right now when we take a look at this chart here uh, mark and what we're using is taking a look at the uh, longer term the monthly time frame chart for the ibb and what you'll see out here that's a very right hand panel 12070 is the top of that profile so far this month we've seen a high of 12116 and price is trading below that level the below the uh, below the 12070 area so what you'd like to see ultimately um, by the end of the uh, month is a uh, close above that area. But that's resistance. So when you see resistance on a longer term chart, like a monthly, you go back and say, well, what's going on on the shorter term time frame charts? Now, yesterday, you did have the IBB close above the top of its bearish structured profile. So that is nice. Uh, but there is a little bit of a potential hiccup that is going on. As we take a look at the IBB, what we'll also see is that little sideways move out here also generated a Rhodes momentum indicator topping pattern. That was the bearish engulfing candle that confirmed that pattern on December the uh, 10th out there. And so price really would need to be a, to, would need to close above that candle session. That high is 121.16. So that's really the number. Uh, 121.24 is another number out there. But a close above 121.16 would negate uh, the pattern at the present time. There might be a new one that would form, but would negate it and suggest that price could move higher. But right now, the daily chart here is confirming what we see on the monthly time frame, which is you're up at resistance. Doesn't mean that it can't clear it, uh, but uh, you asked for it. Uh, and if you're asking me what the target is, well, that is the target right now. You're sitting here right at the uh, target uh, level. Now, there's no change in trend on that Rose momentum indicator signal unless we were to see the IBB close below 117.13. So that's really your benchmark out there. Uh, Mark, um, I, I, uh, you're up at resistance. And, and so, you know, make the decision that it works best for you. And that was taking a look at a monthly and a daily time frame. Now, the other symbol you want to look at is XBI. Uh, so let's get that rolling out here. And in the case of XBI, a uh, different uh, setup. XBI is the uh, S&P Biotech ETF. The IBB was the NASDAQ. And here, uh, if we're taking a look at resistance level, we can see that on a monthly basis, it is not, uh, it's approaching the uh, top of its monthly profile, which is 101.17. You closed uh, yesterday at 94.82. Uh, so that looks like it has higher to go. Um, the daily uh bars are above the top of their profile out there but let's go see if it's in essence doing the same now the same thing on the daily the monthly we know that the monthly and by the way the weekly basis price above uh, resistance at the top of its box as well however this is going to be week eight of a td setup nine count. we'll take a look at that in a moment here in the case of the xbi you can see that this too has been price was moving higher to a less relative energy but that didn't confirm until december the 12th when that bear sash candle uh formed out here um again topping signal but no key levels of support or the first key level of support was stevie's green line that's 95.35 prices below that now you've got the top of the box that's 94.12 that's an area of support then you've got the bullish structured box which is 90.93 to 91.73 it would only be a close below 90.93 that would then suggest price could make its way all the way back to where it broke out in the 83 dollar and change area so the daily similar to the ibb showing you words of caution the weekly and the monthly well, the monthly in this case here is saying it has more room to run to the upside. The weekly 
and I did show the IVB weekly chart. It did not have the same pattern. I don't believe that it did. But here what we can see is your price target on XBI is 97.60. Uh, looks like this is going to be week or bar number eight on the weekly chart of a TD9 count. Bar number eight can be the high of that uh, pattern out there. So, uh, But you need to wait until you get to weeks nine. That's next week or week 10. So you really wouldn't know till uh, two weeks from now whether this has, uh, or at least till next week, the end of next week, whether this has uh, formed any kind of a uh, top. But here's what we have. 97.60 is your next resistance level. That's on the uh, weekly time frame. So Mark S. in Denver, Colorado, also another early bird. I love it. I love it. I have been an early bird my entire life. Now, it probably wasn't that way from birth, but uh, I did have two paper routes when I lived in Detroit as a kid. Yes, a kid. I was uh, 11, 12, 13, 14, I believe, when I had those uh, paper routes. The Detroit News and the Detroit Free Press, I delivered them both. That meant before school, I was up riding my Schwinn. I had one of those big Schwins with the big monkey bars, you know, and, uh, and, uh, and would be, I believe I had to be at the uh, paper depot area to collect my papers by about 5 in the morning. And that was uh, rain, shine, snow, sleet. It didn't matter. Uh, the afternoon paper was much easier to deal with. That was the Detroit News. Uh, used to uh, get out of uh, school early. You know, we used to have those, uh, what they call them, those uh, break periods. Uh, what, what are they? I don't remember what they called those break periods. But uh, we just uh, arranged with the school to put my break period at the end. They let me out early so I could hop on my Schwinn, go pick up those papers and deliver them. In any event, you don't want to hear about those stories out there. And I don't even know how we got to that story, uh, which is uh, it's so easy for Stevie to get off track. Well, we, we're going to get back on track here. Hector, the fuel injector, recess. Thank you, uh, Marshall. <laughs> Funny. It's, so I, I can't, I don't remember. I haven't had a, I, we all need a recess out here. Let's, let's have a Friday recess. In any event, uh, uh, Hector, the fuel injector, wants us to get back on track here. He wants us to do that by taking a look at ticker symbol NBEV out here. NBEV, let's see what Hector is looking for. <clears throat> NBEV. And uh, I guess that was just the getting up early part. So um, uh, is NBV showing any type of short-term bottom? I'd like to... Uh I like to bottom fish on this. So let's take a look at the NBEV out here. Uh, closed yesterday to buck 92. Uh, it is below the uh, daily profile. It is below the weekly profile. And it has found support, perhaps, at the bottom of its monthly profile. So right now, from a profile standpoint, Hector, uh, who's in also is in California. Gosh, you have to love these folks out here. Lodi, California. So I don't know where Lodi, California is. I'll have to look it up on my, uh, on my map system. Um, I, is I, I'm not familiar with Lodi, and I'd like to be familiar with Lodi, California, L-O-D-I, uh, California. Uh, hey, they say Lodi wine. So where's uh, Lodi up in the uh, wine country? Let's see here. Oh, by Woodbridge area, right? Is that, uh, let me pull this back. Um, Okay, yeah, so you are, you're, you're east of uh, San Francisco out there. But let's take a look at NBEV. So if you're looking for support out here, you're looking to bottom fish, and we'll go take a look at the other uh, my other charts out here, but you're, you're certainly at support on a weekly time frame, a buck 74. If we pull over the daily time frame here before we go to this hard break, was there a roads month to indicator signal? The answer is yes, but no bullish reversal candle yet on the daily time frame. That always has me cautious out here, always has me cautious. But look, here's the deal. If you want a bottom fish, go ahead. Make sure you've got a close. If you if this close below a buck seventy four, that's not a good scene for you. But if it's me, Hector, I'd be patient and wait. I'd be patient and wait out there. Steve Rowe, there's no sign of strength off the bottom here as I take a look at the daily time frame. But just be patient. Steve Rhodes with TFNN. We'll be right back. If you are in the CD market and looking for a secure investment, the Tiger First Mortgage Program may work for you. The security for these first mortgages are building lots in a tax opportunity zone in St. Petersburg, Florida. The Tax Act of 2018 set up tax-free zones across the country where you can build and hold for 10 years and pay no tax on the profits, which makes these lots valuable. The investment is anywhere from $30,000 to $75,000. 
The interest paid is 7% yearly paid on a monthly basis. According to Bankrate.com, the best rate for a four-year CD in the country as of February 20th is 3.1%. A $50,000 investment at a normal four-year CD rate of 3.1% would give you income of $1,550 per year or $6,200 over the four-year period. That same $50,000 investment in the Tiger First Mortgage Program would give you $3,500 per year or $14,000 over the four years. Which would you prefer, $6,200 or $14,000 of interest on your investment? If you would like more information about the Tiger First Mortgage Program, you can call me at 877-518-9190. That's 877-518-9190. If you're a trader in the market looking for exposure to gold or gold mining equities, then now is a perfect time to sign up for Tom O'Brien's Gold Report. The summer is over, gold is trading back above $1,500, and the 10-year treasury is hovering at around 1.5%. Tom O'Brien has been writing his weekly gold report for almost 18 years. There's no one that knows more about how the gold market trades and how gold mining equities react. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to lose. Every Monday morning, Tom publishes his weekly gold report with coverage of gold, silver, bonds, the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, as well as more than 30 different mining equities. As of September 3rd, Gold Report subscribers have five active open positions with an average unrealized profit of almost 38% for each position. To see for yourself the types of profitable trades that are recommended within the Gold Report, sign up today by visiting TFNN.com. Are China A shares hot or not? If you trade China A shares, now may be time to take a closer look. Trade CHAU or CHAD, Directions Daily CSI 300 China A share bull and bear ETFs. China A shares in either direction. Visit directioninvestments.com today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors, such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. Uh, two uh, questions in the queue here. The first one coming in from John in the uh, Tiger's Den asking the question, as I scan the markets, do I see uh, anything that indicates a sizable uh, rally or decline over the next uh, 30 days out here? So uh, the interesting thing, John, about uh, yesterday's move higher, even this morning in the uh, futures contract, um, is the uh, following. And you're looking at a uh, uh, set of uh, data data table here that was included in last evening's uh, uh, end of day reports that I, I send out or try to send out to subscribers uh, each afternoon, and uh, what we take a look at and here you're you're looking at the equity futures contracts, the mostly every indice up in the top in the S and P 500 sectors, and the the pink colors indicate a uh, a signal change as of uh, yesterday or over the last three days. I really should say, and what you're going to see in the so you know, we looked at the at the uh, ES mini, the 30-minute time frame chart. We began the show, which showed the Rhodes momentum indicator top out here. Here we have them on nearly every indice, not every indice, but nearly every indice. The semiconductor doesn't have it. The transports don't. The transports made a seventh wave move uh, top out there. That has been that is capped price at this stage of the game. Uh, so so here basically, except for the semi, except for the semiconductor index, and we'd have to go out and take a look at it to see if it shows any kind of a top top signal. We've got these topping patterns. So, John, uh, this is just simply a, a warning uh, shot at this stage here. If we were to, for example, if we were to get a, a reversal in, uh, or really not, not just a reversal in price, but a bearish reversal candle 
in any of these or each of these, uh, boy, they would be signaling over the course of the next 30 to 60 days a potential move lower. Uh, but in lieu of that bearish reversal candle, then price should continue to move higher. So the question is move higher to where? So there are signals out there, but the signals need to be confirmed. So move higher to where over the next 30 days? Uh, Jay had asked a great question, which was, are there any new profiles? Here, for example, Jay, are the ES Mini, uh, because we have the contract rollover, of course, we're using Stevie Synthetic contract. That way you and I, each of us, we can use the daily, weekly, monthly, quarterly time frame. What we're going to see is that price is above all of those profile levels out there. And with price being above all of those profile levels, then it's uh, then where's resistance, right? You can find resistance by by generating A to B equal C D patterns, maybe to get not resistance, but that's really that's a price projection tool more than helping us to identify resistance. So make sure we just erase what I said just at the very opening. Uh, a to B equals CD tool. Nothing more than the uh, than a price projection tool out there, uh, sponsored by Progressive, the insurance company. We should get the uh, we should get them to uh, sponsor the A to B pricing tool out there. But what we do want to know is: is there any resistance? Right? Because to answer John's question in the den. Where would be resistance? Where would a rally take us to? In lieu, even though we have topping signals, but they're only signals, nothing's been confirmed, where would price head to? Well, John, we would just simply go to our horizontal trading ranges, right? Uh, I mean, you use some other things, right? You use your Wheeler uh, 57s, uh, I believe, so you start uh, doing, in any event, uh, let's just take a look at where the ES Mini has a, in essence, a price target right now. And on this chart, you can see daily, weekly, monthly horizontal trading ranges. Sometimes they uh, both line up in the same area out here. But each of them, each of these time frames are just using the opens and or closes um, of the uh, candle. We don't use the extreme emotions, the wick or the shadow, upper lower shadow out here. Price is above resistance here, too. That was around the 3134 level. This looks like price is headed in the ES mini to 3214 to 3233. And doesn't mean that price will stop there. That's just simply the next resistance area. And above that, 3333 out there. That's in the ES mini. So if there's no bearish reversal candle that forms out here, then the answer is price moves higher. How much higher? Well, you've got 3214. Uh, right now, you're trading at 3180. If we take a look at the NQ out here, uh, price is right up in resistance. So it's dealing with resistance right now. It's the daily and the weekly horizontal trading range area. 8565 is the daily. If price is able to close above that today, I would pretty much indicate it's headed up to price that is around the 89 area. Could be 89.36. That's its daily level. You can see a weekly and a monthly horizontal trading range right behind that. And if we take a look at the uh, Dow, <coughs> Dow Equity Futures contract, <coughs> you're going to see that it's dealing with resistance. So the Dow is the weakest of the group right now, in, in my opinion. Uh, in my opinion is not worth a whole heck of a lot. But right now, what you've got inside the Dow, resistance is 28.338. That's the only uh, futures contract. Now, I can't I can't do the same thing with Russell 2000. Uh, it hasn't uh, because I changed the ticker symbols and e signal didn't go get all the historical data to combine it to create one symbol so that I could do historical uh, analysis out here uh, using the same horizontal trading range. We could use the cash in to see we would look. Let's just stay with these three at the moment. And the Dow is at the 28 338 is level that it needs to uh, bust above John. If it can bust above that area, then you're looking at 29. 022. Whether that's any type of, of if that's what you were looking for, as far as I think you were looking for any type of sizable, you know, is that sizable out there? I don't know. But um, uh, it's uh, markets are interesting. I think what, what really transpires here uh, over the next uh, several days, it, let's just take a look at the spot volatility because it's a great gauge, a great tool to help us identify where price is headed to um, or where certainly it's headed to. And right now what we're going to see is yesterday we saw a close below the 50-day exponential moving average. That's the blue in the very lower left-hand panel of my screen. That's the blue line out there, 1409. What price is likely doing for the spot volatility, it's a trade at 1290 right now is headed to the lower Bollinger Band. That lower Bollinger Band is a 1206. If you try putting the spot volatility index and you've got a Bollinger Band tool in your arsenal out there, you're going to end up likely with different uh, Bollinger Bands because the normal reading is, is uh, 20 with a two standard deviation. I changed this to 50 and one. 
and it just seems to work well with regard to understanding what the spot volatility index's intent is uh, doing. And if you, you, you trade those uh, high volatility models, this is certainly one uh, thing you'd want to be taking a uh, look at. So in this case here, it looks like the spot volatility index is targeting 12.06 trading at 1296 right now that should continue to push price higher out there if we look at what's going on inside the new york stock exchange we can see it's advanced decline oscillator that's the uh, difference between that's the exponential difference exponential that's the difference between the advanced decline data uh, using its uh, 39 and 19 day exponential moving average. I knew I could get it out if I really thought about it. It's early, 8.49 in the morning if you're listening live, but this data is really important uh, to you. The New York Stock Exchange, the advanced decline oscillator above zero, likely targeting the plus 150 area. Maybe it's at that plus 150 area that we see some kind of a uh, an additional topping signal out there. But that's what's going on in the market. Those are the price uh, targets out there. Now, we had Ruby who wants to go cocoa for cuckoo puffs. No, it's cuckoo for cocoa puffs, right? So if we go take a look at uh, cocoa out here, here's what we know. Ruby prices uh, come back into the uh, weekly profile uh, level out there and prices testing the uh, bottom of its daily profile. Now, you'll see uh, and that's uh, panel number two. Uh, from your right uh, out here. And so, Ruby, what we can see is that today's session, uh, the bar on it is orange. And this is a suggestion that a new profile is attempting to form from a daily perspective in Coco. Price right now is holding the bottom of its bullish structured daily profile. That's 25.43. If price does close below that, that could be bearish out there could definitely be bearish and there could be an a to b equals cd to the downside steve rhodes with tfnn we'll be right back we'll finish off going coco or cuckoo for cocoa puffs we get right back. i'm certain you are or strive to be one of the best of the best at everything you do in life. It's the most common trait that we tigers and tigresses share. If you're looking to become the best of the best when it comes to managing your money, let me teach you to do what most wealth managers tell you can't be done, which is how to time the markets. I'm Steve Rhodes, author of Mastering Probability, and for the last 12 months, Timer Digest has been tracking my newsletter signals, which have earned me the ranking as their number one market timer in the nation for the S&P 500 for the last 12, six, and three months. Timer Digest also ranks me as the number one market timer for gold as well. The fact is, markets can be timed, and I'll teach you the exact set of tools that I use that has transformed me into one of the best at what I do. Sign up for Mastering Probability today by clicking on the newsletter tab on the homepage of tfnn.com and get immediate access to workshops where I take you step by step how to use an extraordinary set of tools as well as provide great market calls too. Sign up today. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. TFNN.com, educating investors. You know what's cool? Taking something that's good for you. Something specifically formulated to help with weight loss, better sleep, stress reduction, and the need to detox. Nico, our hunter and gatherer ancestors found all their nutritional requirements for health in their wild environment. But today, our food sources no longer contain the vitamins, minerals, and nutrients our bodies need to stay healthy and strong. That's why we need Primal Edge Daily Nutrition. It includes a special blend of ionic, soil-based vitamins, minerals, fatty, and amino acids in an easy-to-use liquid form. Primal Edge is powered by highly concentrated folic and humic acids, nature's preferred delivery system. They've been called miracle molecules because like sunlight, air, and water, life cannot exist without them. That's right, Paige. They ensure we receive all the nutrition we need to be healthy and thrive. We, we take, take it, it every morning. morning. 
Primal Edge, formulated and approved by Nico and Page of Living a Primal Lifestyle. Buy it today for just $89. Click on the Primal Edge banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, uh, folks. So to finish off uh, Coco, we're taking a look at the uh, March uh, 2020 uh, contract out here. This form, the Roads Momentum Indicator top, we had price movement higher doing less relative energy, and you got that bearish reversal candle on November 18th. That set up the uh, top price moving lower, and there may be an A to B equal CD pattern that really is underway here. If price were to close below the bottom of that uh, profile today, uh, that would suggest that there may be a Gertley uh, buy pattern that is eventually setting up with that A to B equal CD to the uh, downside out there. So so, Ruby, I hope that helps you out. We've got two other questions. Let's get those in here before the end of the show, before the end of the weekend. Uh, one of those was to take a look at uh, natural gas out here. And uh, this is coming in from... Uh uh, from uh, Joe, and uh, Joe's looking for some type of short-term pattern out here. Look, natural gas is trading below its daily and its weekly profiles out there, and uh, there is an A to B equal CD pattern uh, that is in play out here, but what's lacking is the uh, is a bullish reversal candle out here. Instead, what's transpired, let me get rid of the A to B equal CD pattern here. You see, when Stevie's uh, red line or green line turns colors out there, it tells us that we're, uh, we're going to see a uh, meetup between price and Stevie's red line. And in essence, sometimes it happens right to the D. Sometimes it's close. And today is close. And today's signal out here, uh, Joe, is not a good sign for natural gas. Now, if price could clear uh, Stevie's red line, that would be $2.35. That'd be a different story. But right now it hasn't. And as long as price is below that um, out here, I say you've got to be careful with regard to natural gas. The last one that we're going to take a look at out here to finish this off for Alex, uh, that is to take a look at... Uh, uh, Alibaba. So as we take a look at Alibaba, here's what we know right now. Price above the daily profile, the weekly profile, the monthly profile. Everything looks good, although Alibaba, similar to our equity markets. Price is moving higher, doing less relative energy. If there were to be a bearish reversal candle, it would form Alex, just like in Coco, it could suggest a uh, top. From a weekly standpoint, Alibaba is in week number eight at its high of a TD setup nine count. Always something to be careful of. Folks, thanks so much for being here. Stay tuned. Larry Pesavento is up next or David White and then Tom O'Brien. Have a fantastic weekend. I look forward to seeing you on Magnificent and Marvelous Monday. Take care and thanks for being here.